The James Webb Space Telescope has done it again. It has spotted a galaxy so ancient, it may force us to rewrite the history of the universe, a galaxy that shouldn't exist, one that defies what we thought we knew about the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. And as astronomers dig deeper into its light, an unsettling question arises. What else are we missing? But before we answer that, let's rewind. Not to the dawn of time, but to just a couple of years ago, 2022. Until 2022, the most distant confirmed galaxy ever observed was GNZ 11. Spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope, it had a redshift of 11.1, .1, meaning we were seeing it as it appeared about 400 million years after the Big Bang. It was a record-setting discovery. But Hubble, with its 2.4-meter mirror, was approaching its limits. The earliest galaxies emit light that stretch so much by the expansion of the universe, it arrives to us as infrared. And while Hubble could detect some of that, it wasn't designed for it. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, changed the game. Launched in December 2021, JWST boasts a 6.5-meter mirror and is optimized for the infrared spectrum. It can see the faint, stretched, ancient light from the first galaxies, light that's traveled for over 13 billion years. Very soon after becoming operational, JWST began to smash cosmic records. Galaxies with redshifts of 12, 13, 14 began to appear in its data. But then came something unexpected. During one of JWST's early survey campaigns, astronomers detected a remarkable galaxy candidate often referred to as MOMSI-14, short for Massive Object at Maximum Redshift, Z approximately 14. While not yet officially confirmed in peer-reviewed literature, MUMZ-14 has been identified in photometric analyses with a redshift of approximately Z14.44. Translation? We may be seeing this galaxy as it existed just about 280 million years after the Big Bang, pushing the limits of our understanding of early galaxy formation. If confirmed, this would make MOMZ-14 one of the most distant and intriguing galaxies ever detected, and that's earlier than expected. Much earlier. The standard Lambda Cold Dark Matter cosmological model suggests that galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to form so soon after the Big Bang, let alone galaxies as massive and bright as MOMZ-14. And yet, here it is. Let's break this down. Redshift is a measure of how much the light from a distant object has been stretched as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the older the light. For comparison, the Milky Way's light, redshift near zero. GNZ 11, 11.1. MONZ 14, 14.44. Every increase in redshift corresponds to an enormous jump backward in time. We're talking about a galaxy from a cosmic era we barely understand. And that's not the only surprise. MUMZ-14 is tiny, only about 500 light-years wide. Compare that to the Milky Way's sprawling 100,000 light-year diameter. But despite its small size, MUMZ-14 is extremely bright. This brightness suggests it is forming stars at an extraordinary rate, essentially a cosmic stellar nursery operating at full throttle. In theory, galaxies in this early epoch should be small, faint, chemically simple, but MOMSI-14 is small, bright, and chemically complex. And one more twist, JWST's spectroscopic analysis revealed that MOMSI-14 is unusually rich in nitrogen. This is critical. Nitrogen is not created in the Big Bang. It forms inside stars, which then spread it into space when they die. For MOMSI-14 to already contain significant nitrogen, Multiple generations of stars must have already lived and died, which implies that star formation began much earlier than we thought. It also raises an unsettling question. Are we seeing the tip of a cosmic iceberg? Most galaxies we study, especially those undergoing intense star formation, host supermassive black holes at their centers. These black holes regulate galaxy evolution, shape their structure, and influence how fast they grow. But so far, no sign of a supermassive black hole has been detected in MOMZ-14. Why is this significant? 
because in current models, early black hole growth and early galaxy formation are closely linked. MOMSI-14 seems to have skipped this process, or at least delayed it. Or perhaps the black hole is there, but hidden. Either way, it's another puzzle piece that doesn't fit. Before JWST, the consensus was that galaxies this early in cosmic time would be rare, simple, and slow-growing. MOMSI-14 challenges that assumption on all counts. It is not rare. More galaxies at similar redshifts have now been detected. It is chemically complex. It is growing fast, forming stars like a cosmic factory. In other words, our models are incomplete. The Lambda CDM model is not necessarily wrong. It still explains large-scale cosmic structure remarkably well. But the details of galaxy formation, especially in the first few hundred million years, appear to need revision. Here's the big question. Is MONZ-14 an oddit? Or is it the first example of a previously hidden population of ancient, fast-forming galaxies? Early JWST results suggest the latter. Galaxies like little red dots, small, bright, distant galaxies, are popping up across multiple JWST surveys, some with redshifts of 13, 14, possibly even higher. This is not what we expected. And it forces astronomers to ask, what else are we missing? Now, let's take this deeper. The formation of the first galaxies is linked to the behavior of dark matter. In Lambda CDM, cold dark matter clumps together to form gravitational wells. Gas then falls into these wells, cooling and forming stars. But if galaxies like MOMZ-14 form so early, it suggests that small-scale structure formed faster than predicted. This could mean our understanding of dark matter behavior needs refinement, or early baryonic physics, how normal matter interacts and cools, needs revision. Either way, the discovery of galaxies like MOMZ-14 forces us to revisit the foundations of cosmic structure formation. Some theorists are going even further. If early galaxies are more numerous and evolved than expected, perhaps we are seeing hints of new physics. Possibilities include warm dark matter instead of cold, variations in the strength of primordial density fluctuations, alternative forms of early cosmic inflation, or even modifications to gravity on small scales. These are speculative ideas, but that's the point. MOMZ-14 discovery opens questions we weren't prepared to ask. And that's the mark of a truly paradigm-shifting observation. What happens next? JWST will continue its deep field surveys, hunting for more early galaxies. But another game-changer is coming, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, launching later this decade. Roman will scan much larger areas of sky than JWST, with excellent infrared sensitivity. Together, JWST and Roman will create an unprecedented census of the early universe. And we may find that MOM Z14 is just one of hundreds or thousands of similar galaxies. If so, the entire timeline of cosmic evolution will need to be rewritten. For now, MOM Z14 stands as a cosmic milestone, a flicker of light from a time when the universe was still finding its footing. But the more we probe JWST's findings, the more the universe defies expectations. As one astronomer put it, the universe is not just stranger than we imagine, it may be stranger than we can imagine. So as JWST continues its mission, and as Roman prepares to join the search, we are left with an open question. What else is out there? What ancient secrets are waiting in the darkness between the stars? And more importantly, are we ready to confront them? What do you think? Is Mom Z14 a rare cosmic jewel? or the first of many. Could we be on the brink of a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below. And if you want to stay on this journey of discovery with us, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications.